What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to work with web scraping and we will be using Node.js for this purpose. Usually in the internet you can see that people use Python for web scraping but today I thought that let's do something different or let's do it differently. So I'm going to use Node.js for this purpose. So for that reason, if you do not have Node.js installed in your computer, please install it from nodejs.org and download it according to your operating systems. So if I say a little bit about web scraping, we're going to scrape a website, which is this manchesteringeveningnews.co.uk and we will be scraping the sports section. And what we're going to do is we're going to scrape up these headlines and the URLs that leading to these articles from this website. So as you can see that we have the inspect element open and from here we will be scraping these things. So let's just get started. So as you can see that we have VS Code open, so let's just open up a terminal at first. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a Node.js application. So what we're going to do is we're going to write npm init minus y. So as you can see that we have the package.json and we have our Node application open. So let's go to the package.json and we need to install some dependencies. We need some packages to be installed, so the things are express. Axios and Cheerio. As you can see that we are using two node modules. Axios is going to fetch the data from the URL and Cheerio is going to grab the HTML data from the URL so that we can actually access the, that data and we can grab whatever information we want to pick. So let's just get started with it. And I want to install one more thing is like that is node mon because I don't want to restart the server every time I make any sort of updates in the application. So for that, this is for the development purpose, uh, or I would say that this is a dev dependency. So I will install it with npmi node one minus minus save minus dev. So this will be saved as a dev dependency. If you can see that after dependencies here, a dev dependency will appear. Okay, so as you can see that there is a dev dependencies, which is a node mon. This is going to be only available for the development purpose. And I want to change these scripts. So I don't need this one. What I need is start and the command is node index.js and we're going to create the index.js file. This will be this uh, we're not going to use it for now because maybe if we're going to deploy it or for the production purpose, uh, this script will be working. But rather than that, for the development purpose, let's create another script which is called dev. And for that, we're going to write nodemon index.js. Okay. So we're going to run the server with npm run dev. All right. After that, I want to make one more thing. It's like I want to make the type as module because I do not like using constant something and require the package. But rather than that, I like to use it with importing the modules like I want to use imports. So that's why I have given it as type module. So in this way, you can actually in the node application, you can use imports instead of requires. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to create a file which is called index.js. All right. The first thing that we are going to do is we're going to import Axios from Axios and we're going to import Cheerio from Cheerio. And lastly, we're going to import Express from Express. Okay. And then the next thing is we're going to mention a port, which is first of all process.env.port. This is given exactly because if there is an environment variable where you might have declared it, so this will be capturing that environment variable. Or other than that, if this is not available, then let's just give it a basic 5000 port so either of the two which one whichever is available the port will start or the server will start on that port so in this case it will start in the port 5000 okay so after that we're going to do one more thing is const app equals express all right all right so as you can see that we are in this website and as i said that we're going to scrape this website so let's just copy this url and we will be using axios so inside Axios, we're going to paste this URL. So once this is fetched, let's just go with a bin because this works sort of like async await. 
like whenever the data is fetched then the next process will be executed or the next lines of codes will be executed so once the data is fetched with axios then the next things that we are going to do is we will have a response and let's have an error function first of all we will be catching the data which is called let's name it html data and this will be rest.data okay and alongside that now we are going to grab the data with Cheerio so that we will be using this or we will be using whichever part we want. So for that, let's go with const dollar equals Cheerio dot load and we will be loading the HTML data. All right. So if you can see that I'm using the dollar sign, you're going to see in the next steps that why I'm using the dollar sign because whenever I want to fetch something, I will be using like this. I'll be using this dollar and then a bracket. Inside that, I will be pointing out whatever I want to fetch. So Cherry actually works like this. So let's fetch something. If we, if we go back to the Manchester Evening News, you can see that these are the list of data. That means the list of headlines and their images. And if you click on them, then these are redirected or these are taken to those articles. So for that, you can see that this is a list. And from this, actually, we want to pick up the teasers and from the teasers inside the teasers we will be picking up the headlines and that means from these headlines we will have the url that we want and alongside the url we will be having this headline as the text so what we need is we need this teaser the class teaser so let's go back to the code and what we're going to do is we're going to take teaser don't forget to use a full stop or a dot before the class name because this will mention or this will mean that we are taking a class so this teaser we will be taking this teaser from the html data all right as i said that we are working with a list of data so we have to go with each and within that we will have index and element these might work as the iterator so we will have an error function as well here so the first thing that we will have is a const we will take a title and the title will be you can fetch the data like this again as we are using Cheerio we will have element and element we will have children the children will be let's go back the children will be headline so let's have headline as the children and after that we will have text so basically this text or if i go to the other ones you can see that these texts texts will be loaded here these texts will be loaded all right so after the title what we need is we need a title url as well as i said that we will be capturing the href urls as well so let's do it like this again element dot children and we will take the headline as well again here we will do attribute is href okay now as i said that this will be an object or a list of objects or maybe i can call it a list so let's just go back up here and let's just declare an articles an empty list and we're going to use it so here what we're going to do is articles dot push and let's make it an object we will push the title and we will push the title url as well okay so after this if we console log we can see what we have pushed so we will be console logging the articles all right so we can also have a catch block or maybe we can say that this might be an error block like if if there is any sort of error while fetching the data or any sort of server error errors then this catch block will act as the error block where we will be just console logging the error so for that we can write catch and we will have this error for that we will have console.error and we will print this error okay so basically that's the thing so the final thing that we need to do is we need to make the app listen so the app will listen to ports and with that we will have a callback 
and this callback will be an error function where we will be writing we'll just country login server is listening to port port okay so let's just save it so let's recap what we did uh, we have just imported the modules that we will be using and we have declared the port will be 5000 so the server when once it starts it will start at the port 5000 and we are using axios so that we can fetch data from this url or any other url we, we we will give to axios and once the data is fetched then the next things will be happening that means from the response we will have the response data and the cheerio that we are using as i said that we are going to grab the html elements or html data in this in this format with the dollar sign and this dollar will be acting as the capturer or or if, if you see that we have captured with the class names so we will be using it like this with cheerio we are using, capturing the html elements and we are going to show these things that means we have captured the title or, and we have captured the href urls and we're going to push it into this list so once the, we run this application you can see from this console log that a list of objects will be displayed where you can see the titles and you can see the urls as well so if i go with npm run dev okay one thing I want to show is like if you can see that we are getting a list of data but we are, these are all empty objects. The reason behind this is because as I said that we need to put a dot before a class name so we have forgotten to put a dot before headline so this is good in a way that I, can, I could show you an error. So if I put a dot here and a dot here and then save it now if you see there you go we are getting all the data that we wanted. So if we check it a little bit, the first thing is this one, this is the headline and then we're getting the href URL or the URL which leads to the article belonging to this headline. So basically that's what I wanted to show you and that's it for the video today. And I hope you've enjoyed it and I think it came worthy to you. So if, this, if you found this useful, please like this video, share and comment what you thought. And please do subscribe to this YouTube channel so that I can create more and more videos and you will be notified whenever I create one. So I'll leave today and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.